Okay, this is, uh, I guess we're ready to go here. Uh, this is our, uh, our uh, little pop-up program that we like to do uh, every so often. Well, actually on, on Mondays. Let me just get rid of some stuff here. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, hey, we already got a whole bunch of people ready to go here. Let me just make sure that we're going out okay on, uh, on uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, so that we're, oh yeah, we're going out on Facebook. There we go. Okay, we're all set to go. Let me admit all these people who are waiting. Uh, there are quite a few of them. Oh, there's, uh, there's Mandy, and uh, there's Steve, and there's Scott, and there's Rick, and there's Brian, and there's Andrew, and there's Leonard LaFrisco, and uh, probably we'll be joined by Marjorie just a little bit later. How are you all doing? Good. Great. Oh, fine. If I'm, Rick goes fine. How are you? What today, do you want me to say? What are you going to say? Uh, you, I said, what do you want me to say? Uh, just, you're, you're fine. You're chipper. You're feeling great. You're feeling terrific. Yeah, uh, Alex, how do you feel? Well, let me see here. My. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, bad idea. That's a question yeah. you never ask me. Is how are you feeling? Okay, then why are you asking us? Well, you know something? I, I, I've often been bothered by people who, when they ask me how I'm feeling, and I actually tell them, are bothered by that. <laughs> because don't ask. If you don't, you know, some people say, hi, how are you? And then you go, well, uh, I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah. And they're not listening. They just, it's just, you know, common nicety to say, how are you? Yeah. Am I right? By, by the way, Alex, how, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the whole hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm, you know, I can't, I, I, I really, I can't complain uh, because um, Marjorie the other day uh, thought she was having a heart attack. Who did? Oh, no. What? Yeah, and she went to her. She went to her doctor, our doctor, our wow. internist, who is also a cardiologist. So he has all the stuff at his office to make sure you didn't have a heart attack. And she he put her through a battery of tests and said, "No, you didn't have a heart attack." Wow. Okay. Wow. Now somebody suggested to me on the program the other night that it might have been anxiety, and they said, "Is she anxious about anything?" And I said, "Uh." -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's married to me for crying out loud, you know. So how are we, how I'm going to ask you how you're doing, and I do care. So if something's bothering you, we'll talk about it. How you doing, Mandy? I'm good. I'm off today, as you can see. I'm not in the crazy oh. office. Oh. Uh, I am. Yeah, we have President's Day off. Oh, Don't God. ask me why. I can't figure it out that we do. I never can. Oh, you want to celebrate, Jane? You can Yeah. Exactly. Well, the thing was, it never used to be President's Day. When I was a kid, there was Lincoln's birthday, followed about a week later by Washington's birthday. And they combined them for this one. And then finally, because they had to, they didn't want to give you one extra day Lincoln's a year. Lincoln's birthday is still a holiday in New York City. What? What'd you say, Shecky? You froze up. Lincoln's said, birthday Link is still a holiday. <laughs> Lincoln's birthday is still a holiday in New York City. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Did they combine the two when they gave Martin Luther King a day? Yes. Uh, it seems like that's when it happened, yeah. Well, that's when it happened because they didn't want to give you an extra day off every year. God forbid. God forbid. I think it was way earlier than that. There was a Monday holiday yeah. bill, I think, in the 70s. Yeah. They, they, they made Labor Day Monday. They made President's Day Monday. So. Well, wait till June 19th becomes a Monday holiday instead of June 19th. <laughs> uh, yeah we actually got juneteenth off this year like it was a it, mm. you know came at the last minute they decided to give it to us so. you got juneteenth off mm -hmm. yep. now yeah. you know the schools are doing juneteenth they, they were off for lunar new year on friday <laughs> what was juneteenth i'm trying to remember now that's the day they you know the uh the slaves were set free you know it was like a oh, okay. holiday right. that was celebrated among African Americans, and yeah. now it's, they, it's, so, it's they, when they heard about it in Texas. It actually, ex exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> okay, who is this person here? It's suspicious. Music Bill. Oh, one, two, three. We've had Music Bill before. <laughs> Try it. Yeah. In a, you, that name oh. has come up before. It has. Hello, yeah. Music Bill. And he's never been on. No, he's never been on, but he's determined. <laughs> Are you there, Music Bill? He's one, selling two, grass. Three. He's, he's got a landscaping company. <laughs> well, I'm going to get rid of him. Okay, yep. here we go. Bye, Bill. Goodbye, Bill. And I went. You know, oh, also yeah. in Georgia, they used to have Confederate Memorial Day. Oh, really? Because my mom worked for the she worked for the state of Georgia for like 30 years, and she used to get that holiday. But when they made Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a holiday, they traded it for that. They, because <laughs> it used trade. to be in January. Sounds like a fair Which trade. Is kind of ironic, really. Well, we, we yeah. had this we had the same holiday here in Ohio, but we called it Losers Day. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that Trump Trump's birthday? Is that what that is? No, Confederate Day. We call it Losers <laughs> Day. Day. Yeah, but you know, if you have a Confederate Memorial Day, I mean people are only upset about it now. But after mm. all, there are people, remember the members of the Confederacy who had family who survived them years later and want to celebrate they're passing oh my mom is a member of the because of my aunt who is a little bit older coerced her to becoming a member of the daughters of the confederacy so i guess technically i oh, can be considered oh, really? a daughter of, oh, wow. like i have a descendant that you know they trace back that fought and there's actually a club i mean it's ridiculous well, they have daughters of the american revolution, revolution. yeah but they also have daughters of the confederacy <laughs> wow <laughs> wow yeah. What do Jews have, Alex? Uh, well, we have. Uh, nope. We have survival. <laughs> nope. Yeah. There is Holocaust Remembrance Day. <laughs> that is a real day. It, yes, but it, it it's not celebrated as a holiday. Well, nor should it be. <laughs> it's, it's not a federal holiday. You don't celebrate the Holocaust, do you? <laughs> they would they would go and lay flowers on the graves of these soldiers. I mean. Yeah. Crazy stuff. My mom That's was just like, no, thank you. Shaki, do you see this thing about the, the Mandalorian, the woman on the Mandalorian? <laughs> yeah. And did you see her tweet that supposedly bothered Warners or whoever is doing uh, Disney who's doing the Mandalorian? Lucas. What happened? Lucas. I don't, what was I the story about that? Well, I don't know. I read it and I said, what? I didn't see anything terribly wrong with it. What was the issue? Basically, she, she was comparing, uh, she was saying that if you're a Republican, it's almost like being, uh, you're being treated like a Nazi like a, or not, a Nazi. Uh, yeah. It, 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 she, uh, she compared to where things are at right now to those times well, in what, Germany. What, what she was saying is that German, uh, that the Jews, were probably uh, more thrown to the wolves by civilians rather than uh, by actual Nazis, and that the Nazis were able to do what they did because the civilians went along with it. That's what she was saying. Yeah. And then she was trying to uh, 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 make that uh, analogous to what's going on today, and she wasn't saying that she was in sympathy with the Republicans or anything like that, you know. Yes, she was. I think she yeah. was. <laughs> I think she was saying that as a Republican, as a Republican, I am treated like, you know, a Nazi. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh which, I see. Which is true, because that's where, that's the side the Nazis play on, is the Republican yeah. side. Yeah. And they start with the press. But it, it was, you know, I just, I didn't see where that was so outlandish. Can you see it, Rick? Am I missing something? There is more to it, but I don't know what that is. She, they may not have just liked, not liked her. And they were looking for any excuse to get rid of her. Or there is more that you don't know. Yeah. I think she has a history of doing things like that. Yes. Yeah. We're doing you don't know what she might have been saying on the set or wherever. And I'm not saying she did, because I wasn't there and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Disney has shown that they uh they, they they ready fire aim is what they do. And and you know, if you look at like guys like James Gunn, they will sometimes make up. Yep. After after the fact, if it's safe to make up, but if it's not safe to make up, they don't, right? And I think that that's what they're doing here. Yeah. You know, we've got Song of the South. We can't release it, but we have a ride right. all about it at Disney World. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
they kind of have a ride about it. They don't call it the Song of the South ride. No. They're not that, uh, that uh, uh, you know. But they I do have rebuilt. the, the I think we built take all that out now. Alex, I heard that she got caught turning Baby Yoda into ice because he's an illegal alien. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but I saw it on the internet, so it must be. Yeah. yeah. I have a qu I have a question. I have a question for my American friends here. Okay, so I'm a Canadian, uh, mm -hmm. but I fully admit this is my home office here. I have a Confederate flag in my home office, and I'm dead serious that I have one. Is there a chance that I could be canceled because of it? Yeah. Oh my. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to have to hang up you on you. Delete him, please. Oh my. How many people are going to hang up on you? <laughs> I have a uh, from when I was a kid from my favorite show. Oh, of ah, course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. As long as we don't catch you praying to Boss Hog as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was more of an Enos guy. Uh, you, you say you like penis? Did you? Say that? <laughs> I thought he said anus. I, I miss. Oh, it was anus. It wasn't penis. I see. Okay. <laughs> Oddly enough, those were the exact two nicknames he got on that show with that name. Here comes Music Bill again. Let's try Music Bill again. Let's see what happens. We're probably going to get the leaves in the. This guy's going to win a bet, I think. What, what, uh, I'm I'm ready to get rid of him. See, hello. Uh, are you there? He's got to turn off his filter. He's got to turn on his mic. Well, his that, mic is on. That grass looks like the grass on the green at Mar Lago. I'm a little. How do you know it's on? <laughs> <laughs> he here. might have a. Yeah, it's on or use, not on. Then it is on. Well, there's Mandy's phone because we just and we just got rid of him. He's not there. No, he's still there. Okay, let me see here. Music Bill. Green grass is One, still two, there. three. Music Lock Bill. Him. He's uh, not has his mic him. on. He has his video on, but he's not on. That's it. Don't try again, Music Bill. One, two, three. Unless you <laughs> learn how to do this. Goodbye. Um, uh, let me see here. Submit. Okay. Thanks for submitting your report. Any, anyway, where was I? So anyway, oh, I just... By the way... Who here other than Mike has ever seen the Dukes of Passer? <laughs> okay. That's my favorite show. Yeah. You, you, Andrew, you've never seen the Dukes of Hazzard? Oh, no. I thought he said who has seen. I saw no, him. I said who, is, who has never oh. seen. Oh. Okay. You've never seen the Dukes of Hazzard? You never saw it like once? Do you know what we're talking about? No. Rick, you don't know who Daisy Duke is? Come on, man. Yes, I know. I know who the characters are, but I've never seen it. Well, I, I, you have to admit there are a bunch of males here, so they would know who the Dukes of Hazard are just because of Daisy Duke. I only saw oh, Daisy, my girl growing up, man. I love Daisy Duke. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I, like the show. She kicked, she kicked Heather Thomas from Fall Guys. She kicked her ass, man. Daisy Duke was. Oh, great. yeah. <laughs> what was the dark headed ones? Not. Bo and Luke. Uh, Bo and Luke. What was the dark headed Tom, one's name? Tom Wolpat. Yeah, I liked him better than the other one. I remember, I, you know, as a girl. Well, yeah. Tom Wolpat became a big Broadway star as the years went on. Let me write so, that. Oh, yeah. Let me write Talent. this down when we have to tell people what we talked about today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dukes of Hazard. No, oh, Dukes of Hazard Memorial Day. Greatest show ever. When they would jump that challenger every week, that generally, oh my God, I would cheer. Really. <laughs> I never that watched Night Rider, man. That show Night Rider brought up a whole generation of boys just wanting to jump you know, cards. It's funny because I didn't get brought up in that generation. I mean, I was a generation, a couple of generations. I was about 20 generations. Not a couple. Not a couple. <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah. my, my car show was My Mother the Car. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Jerry Van Dyke. <laughs> that wasn't even my car show. That was the worst idea for a, for a show ever Brilliant. in the history of television. Brilliant. That's why they still rerun it. <laughs> Checky, do you remember Manimal? Manimal, sure. Oh, Manimal. Awesome. Oh, I, I love Manimal. What was Manimal? <laughs> it was about a guy who was an animal. <laughs> Well, we all are. It was. A, it was. A, it was. A, no, he could turn himself into any animal he wanted. Oh, was that it? Uh, I've never goes, heard of that. Who was that, in that? Did you watch it, Steve? I haven't thought of Manimal in a long time. Oh, yeah, okay. It was from the Freddie Silverman NBC era, like Super right. Train. Yeah. Super mm. Train. I remember Super Train. Well, I remember what that was too. my mother the car? Was his, his mother, mother was, was a car? reincarnated? Yeah, yeah. His did mother was reincarnated as his car and spoke to him. 
And was other super, train, was, super Train failed just because it had a kind of a lack of consistent pl of, of, of plots every week because what was this week's plot? The train is going from here to there. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, it's going from there to here. Well, well if okay. you watch now, they've got the new version, Snowpiercer. Right. Well, Snow, well, Snow, is, this, is remember this guy? Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Knight Rider. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Come on, tell me that doesn't capture your imagination. No, it did not. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> um, uh, Snowpiercer, never... though, Snowpiercer <laughs> isn't like Super Train because no. Snowpiercer is about a train that is carrying people during an ice age and everybody has to stay in the train and it has to keep going and it has this whole society within it and so on. I watched two episodes and I got bored. Yeah. Hmm. Never yeah. heard of it. Yeah. Uh, so it was like Battlestar Galactica on a train. The movie was actually not bad. <laughs> it's a good movie. Yeah, it's a, I haven't seen the TV show. The movie. Yeah, it was good. a fairly good movie. Yeah. The, the TV show's got that dude that was in the Hamilton uh, and on Blackish. I can't think of his name. Uh, uh, yeah, I Odom. I think so. Leslie Odom. Leslie Odom. No, no, it's a guy. The uh, guy from Hamilton. No, Leslie Odom is a guy. He no, the guy from Hamilton. Aaron Burr in Hamilton. Oh. Which, uh, how many here have seen Hamilton? I saw about five minutes before I had to turn it off. Now, I watched it, it when they had that free show. Did you, did you see it? I never saw Leonard, it. Or did you watch it on Disney? No, no. I we watched it on Disney. Disney. Yeah, we went to the theater. You actually yeah. saw it. Um, not only on Broadway, you saw I it saw it three Broadway. times on, twice on Broadway and once off Broadway. Yeah, yeah. Was it that? And, oh. and the famous story is it was Thanksgiving weekend my brother bought six tickets, three thousand dollars each. Jeez! Wow! Holy cat! Uh, have I mentioned his brother has money? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not just any money. Fuck you, money. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of it. So he likes to adopt older, older gentlemen. Did mm -hmm. I tell you that he built a vacation home across the street from his home? <laughs> <That's brilliant. laughs> did he really you never yeah, told me that. weekends there yes 500 you don't acres have to go street. far you don't have to worry about airplanes steamboat springs right yeah and a ski slope in the backyard so it's uh it's a holiday destination anyway so he had a home there so he built a home across the street as a holiday lodge i guess huh oh no not not for renting out yeah right is it fair? yeah yeah and then doesn't he also have a guest house that's the size of a normal house? Yeah, that's down the street. Yeah, that's down the street. So he owns pretty much all of Steamboat Springs is what you're saying. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, who here has their own ski slope in the backyard? Um, a real slope, we not a, a <laughs> you know, not yeah. a little place you go with the sled, you know. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ah, uh, yes, but, you know, has he been able to go many places, though, with all that money right now, or has he had to stay? Oh, they, they, oh I'll just hear. Oh, we're up in um, Connecticut. Oh, we just went to Hawaii. Oh, we're in California. Oh, we're here, you know. Really? Okay. How's he keeping himself safe? I don't know. I don't ask. It's not my well, problem. Well, the plane is private, so that's <laughs> always sprayed, I'm sure. And then you wear your mask when you go to the, you know, thousand dollar a day hotel, you know. By the way, I came across a term today I haven't heard. Maybe Brian has heard of this. We've often talked about herd immunity. And the CDC has said that the reason why all of a sudden the numbers are dropping, why we don't have as many cases, is we have population immunity. What's the difference? Yeah, I haven't heard that. They said it isn't herd immunity, it's population immunity. But what's the difference? There's been so many cases of it out there that it, that the people who are more immune to it, I guess, don't get it or something. I don't know. It's called population immunity. I never heard of that before. Well, yeah, I never heard well, of that. I don't know if you read it. The Daytona 500 yesterday, they had 40,000 patrons. Yep. They had a six-hour rain delay, and all the 40,000 patrons then huddled under the stand. Oh, um, so what was getting COVID over getting pneumonia? <laughs> I don't know. 
You don't know, huh? Yeah. It's Florida. Yeah. How's it oh. Scott? Yes. How's everything in Texas? Cold. Really? It's 14 degrees right now. Oh, geez. We had wow, it's uh, colder than New York. We had about like four inches of snow yesterday. Literally, we're in our 20s. My, my power was out for eight hours. It finally came on about noon, wow. and it's been, my heater's been we're running 34. nonstop for three, three hours or so. Well, it's 34 oh. degrees here. Are you really, you're not kidding me. It's 14 oh, it's degrees really, it's in Denver, Texas. I think well, Charlie's not right here because there's no power in Austin. Yeah. Uh, I heard it, but Charlie's not. Yeah, I wanted to know what he was doing. Yeah. I heard it was going to yeah. be one degree tomorrow in Texas. Mm -hmm. wow. That's what my daughter told me. Hold on a second. Texas. I, I lived in Texas. I never knew it to get that cold. No, it's 50 I, I degrees mean, below I, the average or something, they said. I've been in ice storms in Dallas before. It was really? four degrees yeah. overnight. Four yeah. degrees above zero. Well, I'm getting well, okay, the Super Bowl had a nice storm did. when it was down in Dallas. Yeah, it did. Wow. It, yeah. That's not... Uh, yeah, the, I, did, I did the first thing I've ever done in Texas. I actually went out and shoveled my sidewalk because it's supposed to be below freezing for the next four or five days. In Texas? In Texas. We're, I'm looking what? at the storm coming into Cleveland. It, it goes all the way from Cleveland to Kansas City. One well, comes in New York. One and big snowstorm. Through. Wow. Wow, wow. Pull up the wonder map on Wonder Under or uh, Weather Underground, Alex. You'll see. Uh, oh, it really? They, they had snow in El Paso. I've been in El Paso when it's 130 degrees on the, <laughs> at the crossing from uh, from Mexico. Tomorrow, the oh, look, at that. look at that. That's so. Texas. That's Texas. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Wow. We'll see how tough those Texans really are. Well, no, I just, I just, I don't remember when I was living in Houston. I don't ever remember snow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Houston, Houston snow. Is it snowing in Houston? Do you know? Yeah. Scott? Yeah. Uh, they were supposed to get about an inch. I thought I heard, but I, I don't know if they did. Yeah. We were without internet for like, like I said, eight hours or so. But yeah. Okay. And we're supposed to be fifty degrees this week. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In New York, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Well, they say every day I look at my 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 little uh, uh, Alexa, and uh, it it has like three o'clock snow, six o'clock snow. It hasn't snowed yet. <laughs> you get the same thing, Rick? Doesn't, doesn't tell yeah, you what it's day. It's rain all week. I think Thursday maybe a little bit of snow. No, I get that little snowflake over the you know over the time. And I figure you out. know, I always tell you about the neighbor kid who now lives in San Diego. He called me yesterday to panic me. There's going to be a really bad storm in New York on Thursday. Make sure you have enough food. I'm very worried. You need to make sure you have food. Well, let's, right now, <laughs> let's, food. Right now let's go to Andrew with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll come back. Yeah, there we go. Come back. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Here's the weather. <laughs> I got the job. <laughs> over yeah. there, there's some more weather. Yeah, yeah, and then there's more weather over there, and some weather up there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you, Tex Antoine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do I get the hot weather? No, Tex Antoine. Tex Antoine was a new uh, weather guy here in New York. Who was a weather guy for how many years? He had an easel. Uh, 50, I think. The paint. 19, a, since the 1950s. And then all of a sudden, one night he went on the air and he said one thing and we never saw Tex Antoine again, right? Well, it was after a story about, I think, a woman who had been raped. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'll tell you oh, no. was, I don't know if it started with Confucius Say, but basically it was if rape is inevitable, lie back and enjoy. Oh. That was oh. A, oh. The Texas uh, governor. What? Candidate said that his name was, um, I can't remember, but yeah, he, he didn't win either. Wow, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Antoine was off the air after that night. Wow, 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 I can't imagine why. <laughs> yeah, uh, you were about rape is a high wire act to say the least. Yeah, he was, and this is in the 70s, by the way, where maybe it was a little more accepted to say something stupid like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now he was gone the next day. Oh, today you can get let go for the stupidest stuff. Well, look at 
um, uh, the guy from Bachelor. Um, one of the contestants went to an antebellum themed dance two years ago or three years ago. And he said, well, that doesn't seem so bad or whatever. And he's off the show, Chris Harrison. Now that's she's from She's from Georgia. She's from yeah. like a, just a suburb of Atlanta. So sororities do have like themed yeah. stuff. And there was apparently a themed like antebellum What did he themed. say that was so bad? He said that it shouldn't be held against her because it happened separate, a couple of years ago. Right. And things right. have changed now, but you know, then they were different and shouldn't be held against her. And they, and they fired, fired him for that. They, they took they him off the show. Him he's not <laughs> fired. He's uh, he's going to come back. I watched The Bachelor. His his wait, 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 hold on a second. His, his how many here? How many here watched The Bachelor? Any of you? Oh, this is the first season I've ever. I watched. have to put my hand up, but damn more. it! <laughs> really, oh. really. It's, it's the first season I've ever watched. My hairdresser told me to watch it, and she said it's nice, mindless entertainment, and it's going to be the first Black Bachelor, so that should be kind of interesting. And so I have been, but I mean, I just watch it on Hulu, like My a couple of days after it airs. It, I don't even have background music as background music. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that guy's it's retraction. All made in the edit room. It's not reality. I no, think, I think it's ridiculous. Scott, I think Scott. It's completely ridiculous. Scott's electricity just went out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his retraction of his statement was so obsequious and groveling for having said what? nothing wrong yeah. right he didn't have to do that no you no. know i mean i i think it's time that some of these people stood up and said to hell with you i'm not being contrite about this i didn't say anything wrong because there is a lot of stuff where they people are not even saying stuff that's wrong do you have your hand up scott or are you just yeah I just got caught in a rolling blackout, so oh. I'm going to shut off so I can save my power and, and internet till who knows how long we'll be out this time. Oh, okay. It was well, crazy. You, put, put your undies in the microwave. You have something. Did to you warm go to battery or something? Did oh you, yeah, yeah. I'm on. I'm on my laptop and and uh, my cell phone is still doing the data. But oh, anyway, okay. it's, I'll see you guys. I'll see you okay. next Monday. Bye bye. All right. Sure, bye bye, Scott. It, it's thundering here. Is it? Yeah. Just, I mean, the sun hadn't shown. It'd be funny if I lost an entire citizen panel because of rolling <laughs> blackout. <laughs> no, Len, Len and I will still be on. That's I'm right. A, I'm on a generator. I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> but we're okay. I think we're okay. We don't have any problem here. Yes, uh, Mike. Uh, Alex, you said something there that I just got to. You said he didn't have to say that. Well, the dude works for Disney, man. He may have had to say that. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I, I just, you know, uh, people t are talking lately about cancel culture. That's the new term, the new big term for it. And uh, I mean, there's some some validity to it. I mean, I think we've just gotten too sensitive to something somebody said back in 1957. You know, I mean, this reminds me of uh, the uh, McCarthy era, where people mm. were asked to atone for their sins that they made. Uh, 20 years earlier when they thought it might be a good idea to join the communist party and then decided it wasn't but then they were called to account for it and i just think that that you know we have to say okay when did you do this well I, he did this 10 years ago okay well, we you know have, we also have to consider intention right when you say something right. there are certain words that mean something in the mouth of you know a ku klux klan leader doesn't mean the same thing in the mouth of Richard Pryor. And not to you know, make that distinction is insane. I'll make another distinction for you. I've said this for many years. There are two ways to say fuck you. One of which- Oh, there's is, a thousand ways. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. One of which, <laughs> it's all intonation, is fuck you. And the other mm -hmm. one, fuck you. Mm -hmm. You know, so and how I mean, about fuck you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all right, everybody on three. <laughs> Good luck monetizing this one, Alex. Well, that, that that simply translated means I'm telling Alex off. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there's also quite a few ways that you can say fuck me. This is yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. But what, what, I'm, saying, what I'm saying is, is that that uh, uh, you know, and what what way did you say that? I mean, hey, when I was growing up, I used the word Negro all the time. Okay? Because yeah. that was the proper term to use. My father taught me the proper name is Negro. You know, not colored person, that's wrong. Right. But Negro. And it was, it was fine. That was the accepted term of the times. And then it changed. Okay. 
Huh? Sarah Silverman has a great bit on this though. She she was like talking about how the colleges used to be the place to do stand up, and then and then that started to dry up as PC culture started kind of um, you know infecting itself within the college campuses. And then she said she went and thought back to when she was young. And she would, her dad, her dad's best friend would come over and say, oh, that Negro family down the street. And she was kind of like, so when she thinks about how now she's at the age, she doesn't want to become her dad's friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so out of respect, she doesn't use the word Negro anymore, even though she doesn't mean ill intent towards it. I thought it was a tremendous way to explain uh, uh, an older person seeing it in the context. Mm -hmm. But the idea that comedians can't work college campuses, like I heard Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld talking about this. I know no one's cleaner than Jerry Seinfeld, but he says it's I, not worth it because you make anyone feel slightly unsafe. Right. And that's it. You're done. The biggest, you're go you're the biggest gone. Bullies, the biggest bullies in America are the people in the anti-bully movement. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that I hadn't been putting this thing out on Facebook. Oh. The thing defaults to private, and I forgot to put public today. Does it matter? It doesn't yeah. matter. This is, they'll be able to see it later. So we can Let's say, fuck you again. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> you didn't make it. This, this show so far has been our little gift. And what a That's gift. Right. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's a nice and little gift. Fuck anybody people. else. You nice. guys need to watch the history of swear words. It's on Netflix. Yes, yeah. 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 series with Nick really? Cage. It's, it's actually quite good, yeah. It's they pretty did, entertaining, yeah. The first oh, word was just on so Netflix, damn creepy. On it. Netflix? On mm Netflix? -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You didn't find him creepy as hell on that thing? <laughs> no. Nah, nah. He was acting, yeah. He was acting creepy, but I, I think he was doing it on purpose. What was this? It's called The History of Swear Words with Nicolas Cage. It's on Netflix. These little 20 minute shorts. As soon as I saw Nicolas yeah. Cage, I just went, eh. Uh, yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? I choose the scenery. That guy's amazing. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's in it a, a few minutes, but it's mostly interviews with Sarah Silverman and some others talking about shit and fuck and uh, pussy and dick, I think, were the other ones. <laughs> the, doc yeah. the documentary to watch on HBO is that Lady in the Dale about the scam with mm. the three-wheeled car. From yeah, so I want to watch that. That looked good. I haven't seen that yet. I never knew the yeah. part that, that it was a, a, a transsexual who, a, tra a trans person who, yeah. who was the con artist. Yeah, I'm wow. on episode it's, three. It's it's a fascinating documentary. Yeah, talk yeah. about so, on on HBO, HBO. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A good, a good documentary we watched that's on um, on Netflix on Sam Cooke. Oh, it's great. Uh, yeah. I didn't. I really didn't. You know, I mean, I grew up with Sam Cooke music, but I never took him that seriously. That was great. And one. it turns out that he actually had two different reputations one that was seen by the white community as this nice black guy singing okay great voice and the, another one in which the black community looked upon him as someone who was speaking their cause and it was civil rights civil rights and so on and uh gets into his whole relationship with Muhammad Ali and that that was a thing they think they think he wasn't some people think he was murdered uh, for a different reason than a spurned girlfriend mm. uh, it was after Malcolm X wasn't it well Malcolm X got killed uh, shortly First. after they had that meeting at get together that is in Miami or uh, uh, one night in Miami a night in Miami yeah but that never happened that's fiction isn't it no it no no <laughs> We what saw happened the Sam at Cook, that happened on the Sam Cooke biography? They had that weekend. They showed and it. they had Jim Brown saying, "We went. And we took out a hotel room and we all hung around together for um, for a, for a night." Yeah. And the only thing that's different is that what the play was and what the movie is is. Well, you don't know what they said about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, it didn't happen. I, I didn't think it happened either. And then I saw this documentary about Sam Cooke and Jim Brown said, yeah, after the fight, we all went out, took out this hotel. They even showed the hotel. I don't remember. And they showed name. the people. They showed the four people. Yeah. yeah. I'm all, they, we know they were all together that night because Jim, right. Jim, Jim, Jim Brown was doing play-by-play, -play, exactly. uh, a ringside co color commentary. And Cooke was there and he was asked to come into the ring with Muhammad Ali. And yeah, at the also end. Malcolm X was there at the fight and the next morning Muhammad Ali came out as black as a as a Muslim. 
Hmm. Uh, so hmm. we know there. And then Jim Brown said, and then we went over to this hotel and we hung out for the evening. We talked about, you know, our, our relationship to our color and so on and what we were doing about it and so on. So no, Rick, it, it actually did happen. It's just a question of what went on in that room. Nobody knows except. Jim right. Brown. They smoked dope and talked about pussy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible, but that would have made a very good movie, would it? No, but it wouldn't. Muhammad Ali. I mean. Um, what's his name? Didn't smoke or drink because of his religion. Yeah. Not the mix. Yeah. So and we know that because the other part, you know. No, he he was he was he was very uh, religious in his belief, much more than uh, Elijah Muhammad ever was. You know, Elijah or Dr. King. Well, one of the reasons why Muhammad Ali left the the Muslims was because of Elijah Muhammad's shall we say, many girlfriends and children and wives and so on. Oh, really? Yeah. And he didn't feel that was moralistic to the, to the religion and to what they believed. And he also thought they did it. Oh, well, Lee was married once, maybe twice. So he was not a... Uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, uh, Malcolm X? No, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, yeah. Well, no, yeah. Wait, was he... How, how many... Was he married? How many times was he married? I think Muhammad Ali was a ladies' man. I think that was his. I think he actually said that was his one weakness: is women. Yeah, well, yeah, a lot of kids. Yeah, that he did have. How about how about well, who was it? Uh, am I thinking of uh, the uh, Foreman Grill? Uh, J uh, uh, George Foreman. George, George Foreman. Foreman. How many kids did he have? And they were all George. Yeah, all George. Yeah, all 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 George. <laughs> Georgia. Yes. And there was a female named Georgia. Yeah, they're all Georges, <laughs> including the girl. Uh, Jeez, how many has he got? Uh, <laughs> a lot, a lot. So anyway, uh, but so anyway, they that the the the, the, pl the, pl the play and the and the movie are, is very good. It's a, but it's an imagining of what twelve. What was people. said? Yes, George yeah. Foreman, twelve kids. Yeah, George. <laughs> George, 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 George. With the same George. woman. <laughs> No, he has a, there's a Frida, a Georgette, a Natalie Foreman. Were these the wives? Viola Foreman. Were these what the about wives? The, what the about kids? the boys? There's five sons and seven daughters. And what are the five sons? Five sons are George Jr. Uh -huh. And then George the fourth, George the fifth, George the sixth. <laughs> like little kings, wow. little princes. Wow. <laughs> what did you say? I said like little kings or little princes. Yeah, it sounds like uh, kings of England or something. No. George the first, George the second. Oh, it makes it easy. Hey, George, get in here. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> now I'll show up. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so, you know. 72 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Marjorie and I, I guess our whole life is, well, we've been watching Gotham. We're almost... Mm. We're all, we're finally into the fourth season. Hmm. How much of a waste of time? I mean, it's a good show, but still, that much watching of one show is a waste of time. We did it with what was the one? Breaking Bad. Yes, mm. we got We've back from seen a holiday. It and it had like five seasons. We got yeah. back from a holiday, and everybody was talking about the last. Well, thing. They were coming up on the last episode in a couple of weeks, so we decided we would binge watch all of Breaking Bad and try and finish watching it all the night before the final one was going to be aired. <laughs> yeah. wow. The night before, yeah. And show. we did do that when the final one was aired. Okay? Wow. Uh, that must and have and the, of thing, the thing that was disappointing to us was is that when the final one aired, it had commercials in it, which right. the <laughs> ones we watched didn't have. Yeah. Right. And so consequently, we, we found it really... It we watched it again without the commercials. Yeah, we, yeah. 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 Have you ever watched a show that you are so invested in and, and loving it and just can't wait for the great twist? And then the last episode, it's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so many. Like the whole last season. Because I watched a show grown. this weekend. Um, yeah. I binged it over a couple of three nights. And it what was, was called it? The, um, the Undoing with Nicole oh, Kidman. That. Yeah. And Hugh and Hugh, um, Hugh Grant. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, weren't you just like thinking there's going to be this crazy twist? 
and it turns out he really did do it and I was like yeah. oh. <laughs> kind of like just ended yeah uh, yeah and it just was like okay, okay. well he gonna, he's arrested and he's going to jail to with a crazy look on his face and but they, didn't you see the last thing on the last episode that thing came up and said goodbye suckers <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I just enjoy, I enjoyed rivers. watching Nicole Kidman's hair. Oh her, yes, and her fashion. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, now, now we 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 could get a movie review. You watch that uh, black? Uh, what was it? What's it called? The black G black Messiah? On I didn't finish it yet. Is it good? When I talked to you yesterday, you said I got to get off. I want to get back to I went black to Messiah, sleep. and yeah. then uh, did you never <laughs> got back to it? He just yeah, didn't want to, to talk to you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to talk to me. No, what? You, no, I started and I was like, I'm tired. Turned it off. I'll get back to it. What's it about? About an hour it's and a half. <laughs> traded the Black Panthers in Chicago in 68. Uh, 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 Hampton. Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. Uh, yeah, he was, he, was, he was murdered. Oh, I, did, I don't want to spoil the ending for you. No, Hampton was the head of the Black Panthers in Chicago. But he got shot. This was a fellow that the FBI coerced into infiltrating them. Mm -hmm. But his I name believe, I can't remember. But oh, I yeah. believe Hampton got killed. He did. But, yeah, Hampton I, got killed by the police. He he was killed by the police. Yeah. Oh, I, did I ruin the ending for you? <laughs> he looks so sad about it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fake, Mandy. <laughs> Well, you know, can you spoil an ending from something that historically happened? That happened 50 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. So. Yeah, the Titanic sank, I hate to tell you. What? <laughs> Did it? <laughs> well, they're raving, about that, they're raving about that movie, though. They're saying it's very good. It was it's good. Far it is. Yeah. And if you have HBO Max, you get it for free. Otherwise, you have to go to a theater near you. Which is probably close. <laughs> not not, not around here. What yeah? What's going to happen to movie theaters? Anybody Go gonna, on. Let's Go say on. Tomorrow, creepy movie, tape. How many here? Have the, how many here have had the shot? At least one shot so far. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. nice. Okay. We're getting our second shot in seventeen days. And my mom got one. My mom finally got days. one on Friday. How that happens, I have Good. no idea. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, let's say you all get your shots. All right, uh, and. Um, you um, um uh, you don't get rabies uh no you get all get your shots and now you can go back into a movie theater are you ready to go back into a movie no theater? no not even that. it's just not worth it not for 30 40 50 dollars to go see a fucking movie yeah i, I didn't even go before before COVID. right yeah. why are they <laughs> open for eight clicks and each screen has the hundred seats and you can only have in new york city 10 percent Right. What's it in for the theater to have 10 people in your screen? Well, yeah. Yeah. But so, now you can stream it at home. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think people have gotten so used to watching these things at home and realizing that, you know, you got a big screen at home. And yeah. if you want to take a shit, you can put it on pause. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't you don't have to run out and miss anything. <laughs> exactly. I oh, like these private shows. Is They're much better. I miss miss Max, switch. if you want to take a shit, you can put it on pause. <laughs> <laughs> That's their new slogan. I miss it. very good. It's going to be on HBO Max. So why do I want to go to the local theater to see it? Yeah, well, exactly. We, we already saw Nomad's Land. And it, it is unrelentingly depressing. Very. The What's that about? You, you know, well, I, I often said that I really don't like movies that beat me up. You know? And this thing really beats you up, doesn't it, Marjorie? Well, yeah. And it's, it's a lifestyle that I would never in my wildest dreams want. This you is know, people who live in vans and they they don't they don't have a home. They work yeah. from job to job as they travel. Yeah. And they got the only actress in America who could authentically play somebody like that, Frances McDormand. Oh yeah. You know. She was excellent. She was fantastic. No question what about do you mean? it. All she had to be was that weird Frances McDormand and she could play but the that. Movie was, <laughs> the movie was so depressing. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I hate those kind of movies. Uh yeah. Y yeah. Very you're just kind of sad. Would like, you go to the theater? There's no, there's no lift at the end. Yeah. 
We say it's going to be on HBO Max, or is it? It's on Netflix? one of those. I don't know yeah. which. One. What do we see it on, Alex? Well, we stole it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't hear that. You said you wanted to see it, so I, I did. I, did, I, I, did. I became a, a a movie thief and got I, it. For I, me. I thank you. But if well, it's thanks for the tip, because now when I want to be sad, I'll go look for it. It's called No Man's Land. No man. Yeah. No, man. One word. no man's one land. Word. No she man. Told me, she told me No Man's Land, so <laughs> I looked up No Man's Land, and there is a No Man's Land. Made in the thirties. It, and it's a film that got uh, forty-five on on Rotten Tomatoes. And it was like in the thirties. This one, which got like one hundred and fifty on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> but it's all one word. It's No Man's Land. Yeah. Uh, it's it's you know. It's I suppose I suppose this is a life we should know about that exists. And know. thank gosh that we don't have to live that. Thank lifestyle. God we don't have to live that way. Oh. Yeah. Well, my it's father so used to. I I used to ask my father. I've told the story before. I used to ask my father why he liked boxing. Every Friday night, he wanted to watch the Friday night fights on TV, right? And I would say to him. Uh, uh, so, Dad, I said, you're so nonviolent. Why do you watch the fights all the time? He says, I like to watch two guys get in the middle of a ring and beat each other up, and I'm glad I'm neither of them. <laughs> and and uh, that's pretty much what Marjorie is saying. You know, you watch a movie like this because you want to watch it because you're glad you're not these people. You know, I never would be. I never even I think never about would. being. Yeah. How you doing, Leonard? You're down there in Southern California, right? I'm mid Northern California, near San Francisco. Near San Francisco. Yeah. I, I always I mean, get that wrong. I know. You know, maybe one day you'll remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's quiet here. I mean, we're starting to open up a little bit. We got outdoor dining again, although it's raining a little bit. So what good is that? Yeah. Um, you know, movie theaters are still closed. And all that stuff. I mean, we're just. I'm tired of being locked in the freaking house. You know, um, it's it's time for us to start moving a little bit and. You know, how much TV can you watch? How many times can I talk to these people? <laughs> Listen, I've been indoors so long. I walked down the street yesterday and came back lugging some packages. Yeah. And I was huffing and puffing by the time I got back here. Plus, <laughs> with the mask on. Do you find, Shecky, with the mask that it's hard to walk? My nose yeah. runs. Yeah. My it nose gets runs. very runny. My yeah. nose runs. And, all and the breathing, time. breathing is difficult. And if you double mask it, it's doubly hard breathing. Yeah. And then if you get a runny nose, but at least you can blow your nose in your mask. When ah. the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Anybody oh, watch boy. the Queen's Gambit? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that yeah. Was great. That was very good. That was really good. To that one, it said you got to watch this. Yeah, that was yeah. good. I think that's the best. The best thing I've seen all year. And they, no, there I was guess, something they, else we thought was good too. They that made was one of them. They only made seven episodes, and they were that was all going to be it. But I guess it, it, was, it hit so well, they're going to make a second season. How are you going to do uh, a, second a second season of that? I, I don't know. I don't know. It was She's perfect. going to take up cribbage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> take up checkers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Candyland. Well, the fluff, the fluff I've been and watching her the last couple of days. Yeah, her, her performance is incredible. She's amazing. Have you seen yeah. her interview? And, and the, the sets and the um, and the costuming is absolutely spot on. It is. I'm it is. It. Yeah. It yeah. feels like the 1960s. I mean, it's amazing. Well, she becomes a chess champion. This is not a true story. Thank God it's not take based on the true story. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it, uh, it takes place over a period of years. And so she becomes a fashion, fashionista of sorts. And she starts wearing the fashions of the times and there's some great costumes in it. I mean, it's incredible, a, incredible. but it's a really good show. I mean, and, and folks, yeah, I know what you're saying. How can something about chess be interesting? <laughs> because, chess becomes secondary. You know, chess I mean, isn't even, really, is, is the most uninteresting sport to watch. It's about chess, but it's about so much other. I but think if you a, understood the game, it might be interesting to see what they're, maybe some of those moves were real, I would assume. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, those are real matches, or yeah. were real yeah. matches. We yeah. we have an, a Russian friend uh, who said that all the Russian scenes were incorrect, 
but she uh, would say that about anything. <laughs> you know, I hate people that say, oh, you know, I lived in Russia and uh, it does nothing like Russia. That's well, an of Italian. Course, it's a movie. <laughs> right. All right. In Russia, not a documentary. What yeah. did you say, Shecky? I said it's not a documentary. No, that's right. Right, right, right. That's right. It doesn't have to be completely 100% accurate in. Right. You know. And plus, she knows Russia better than we do. Okay. <laughs> if you if you can understand or if those or scenes were shot in Russia, they were probably shot in some other Slavic country. So it probably didn't even look like Russia to her. You know. Mm. Have you seen Lupine, the the French the French show that's on Netflix? Uh, What's it called? Lupine, Lupine. you uh, were watching that, were you, Marjorie? I think I, there's only one season, right? Yeah, yeah. You got if you don't mind reading subtitles or you can understand French, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, I have to watch subtitles, especially I'm British. <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's we English, watch. you know. I talked to you about <laughs> that. You, you, some you of started it. watching with subtitles, haven't you, on some British shows? You talking to me? Yeah. 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 Yes. I, I, I taught you that little trick because I, I learned it with Peaky Blinders because if I didn't have subtitles, I couldn't understand Peaky Blinders. Well, I watched the whole season and I watched it. Then I watched it again with Alex with the subtitles and I learned so much that I didn't learn before because yeah. you're hearing it. Yeah. They're working on the final season of that right now. Mm. Yeah, are they really? Yeah, yeah. Another season? A Peaky Blinders, yeah. Yeah. It'll be the I final. I can't even imagine. It'll right. be the final season. Yeah. yeah. We just watched. Well, they tried to make a movie. What, what, what'd you say? They started making a movie about it? They're talking about a movie after the TV series is finished. Yeah. And if you remember the All Creatures Great and Small, we've talked about it before. The new season of that is coming to the Very season. good. It's brilliant. <clears throat> Everybody really, tells really me good. that's a great show. And I've, I've never seen it. What? How many seasons are there? Oh, there's like eight seasons of the oh original. Oh, my God. Just, but but <laughs> the original new <laughs> reboot. What, 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 again, the Rick, you were breaking the up the Wait a minute. Rick, what were you saying? <laughs> no, I said All Creatures Great and Small aired in the 70s. Yeah for maybe seven seasons, and then this new reboot is oh. new. Earth so can season. you watch it without knowing what the Absolutely. original was? Oh. oh, yeah, no, it starts at the beginning again. It's yeah. just, oh. Oh, OK. All it's right. a slight right. different take. It's kind of like it's a continuation of, quote, where they left off 20 years yeah. ago or whatever. The original okay, on PBS, right? Out. Yeah, they both are. It's PBS, I mean, but I, you know, it's at um. One of those sites. <clears throat> well, it's yeah. on PBS.org too. So not yet. No, I'm saying the not entire season series is already at the other sites. Oh, I see. Okay. The original All Creatures Great and Small you can watch on Amazon Prime. And it's, and it's, a, it's a very good show, and this I've read is, the books. Yeah, this is a whole new starting from the beginning with a slightly different take with all new actors, nothing to do on with Netflix. The, the new one isn't out in the US yet. No, isn't it about a veterinarian? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In 1930s, in um, the Dales. Actually, you can find it, Alex. Yeah. Well, I'm sure I can find it. Anything British, it's you worth... can find. Well, no, I wouldn't know how to get programs illegally. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. I have no idea. Neither was it a and show I, that was I, on I, in the I've 70s? Been a dozen times, and he oh, said no. to me, "I can't tell you because that would be illegal." <laughs> so uh, I, I have no idea how to get those shows. No, they did one season already and a Christmas episode. Oh, really? What happened to Doctor Who's Christmas episode? There they, was nothing. Yeah, no. And she left. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. No. She said it got another season left. Who? The two guys looking, left. Who? Looking, the two guys left, but I thought they were looking for a new You know who doctor? I think would be a good next Doctor Who? I, I Maybe you'll disagree with me. Sean Pertwee. Oh, I love him. The son of the third oh Doctor Who. Oh, my God, I love him. Too old. But wait, too old? Doctor Who in... Uh, it's made for 15-year-olds. They don't want to see a 65-year-old <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> What's his name with uh, the last one before Jodie Whittaker? Yeah, but he was in his 40s. No, he, he wasn't. wasn't in his 40s. You talking? I'm talking Natalia about. Natalia loved him. What's his name? I can't uh, think of it. 
I, yeah, I, I know who you're talking about, but I no, he was not 65. Was but he was not 45. I'd say he was in his 60s. I agree. Absolutely. I, I was thinking Nicolas Cage would be the next one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, but um, what I read that they were trying to say that uh, they were going to bring a what's her name, um, who was uh, the doctor's companion in the first series, uh, back. Billy Piper. Billy Piper as Doctor Who. Uh. And she says, "No way! I want to stay home and take care of the kids." She said that series meant that you had to go to uh, where is it done up in. Up in Wales or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. 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 you had to live in Wales for for, for seven nine months, months out of the year in order. Nine to months do of it. filming. Huh? Yeah. It's like nine months. Yeah. yeah, and you had to live up there. So she said, "I don't want to have to go back there to live." That's why the older guy left the series. He has so much work. Well, Other work. Also, Other. you're you're so taken out of the out of the loop. That even if you wanted to get other work, it was hard to do, you know. You know, when you do a BBC series, it's seven episodes. Often they're done live in London, and you could be on the West End that night. You know, you can do other things while on a Wednesday you're taping your show. Yeah. 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 I mean, even Black Adder, I don't know if you know it, that was shot live. Was it really? Yes, they looked like they were live. Yeah. Yeah. And done in one night. You know, rehearsal, and we take. Yeah. Did they, were all the series done live, or were the first, not the first season? The first season wasn't done live. No, that was done on film. On film. Okay. All right. What a great show that was. Oh, that was a terrific show. Well, there's a rumor he's doing another season of it. No. I guess he could. And he's going to revive. I guess he could do it. Well, I'll watch. It. He could be older, you know, and he could be an older as boss, again. Yeah. It'll be in set in the seventies or eighties or whatever, because you know it's the history of the Black Adder family. You could bring back uh, uh, Stephen Fry, M Miranda yeah. Richardson. Yeah, because yeah, I mean the last season was set in World War One, so they could set it anywhere over the next hundred years. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I want them to do that with Faulty Towers. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Yeah, but Cleese is like 78 now. I don't think he's, yeah. you know. He doesn't have the energy. Uh, and I'm not saying that he doesn't have energy, but he doesn't have that same kind of comedic energy. Manic, manic, manic energy. energy play that but role. he needs yep. to play that part. You can, write around, you can totally write around that. You get somebody up and coming who has that kind of energy and you get Cleese to be the straight man. Well, I, I don't know that yeah. I want them to go back and do more Black Adder. You know, I'm happy with the ones we got. You know, I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm fine. You know, you know I don't I'm it. happy with the uh, with the uh, uh, all these series. Why they want to go back and do them again is, and then they become a big appointment when they do them again, right? Well, anyway, so what's your week going to be like, Mandy? Just pretty much the same, right? Yeah, I go back to work tomorrow. Same old stuff. Just yeah. busy, busy. Any any excitement for the weekend? Yeah. Um, no, not really. <laughs> I did. I did go out Friday night. Ooh. Nice. And I, um, you know, to watch my friend who plays the drums, uh -huh. and his wife is my like really good friend. So we went and watched him play in a little quartet. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's nice. But yeah. it was we were the only ones wearing masks. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Really? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a restaurant, you know, restaurant on one side and a little lounge area on the other side. So we walked into the lounge area, we had masks on. I mean, the manager had them on, you know, had yeah. one. The the waiters waiters had them on, sure. Right. What are, what, are, um, what are you up to, Steve? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's there to be up to? He's he's just down, he's <laughs> he's downtown. I could go see him, but I'm not getting out of the house. Out, but um <laughs> yeah, know. yeah. There's nothing to do. I mean, you know. He, he could meet me somewhere and I wouldn't recognize him because he'd be wearing a mask. So, <laughs> you know, it's better here. Yeah. Jackie, you don't have any excitement going for you this weekend, do you? Maybe shoveling hey. snow on Friday. But oh, other than good. That, it's getting very gray out right now. Brian, how about you? Well, there's a little bit of 
rain. I was at a little get, while ago. Yeah. But it's in our shots. We get our first shot uh Wednesday night, so that's pretty exciting. That's good. Are you and your, you? Are you and your who you say we <laughs> who Tiffany and I. Tiffany and I do for because oh. we work at since we work you know, where we work, so it's good. Uh, oh, okay, good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So Andrew, that and then, uh, Andrew, what exciting ahead. do you have to do? I am going to be in my studio working on a big glass project I've been working on. A uh, big what? Glass project I've been working uh, on. Glass? Yeah. What do you blow glass? No, uh, I have a kiln. I, I do fusing and, oh, and pumping, okay. pumping with glass. Oh, wow. How about you, Leonard? What, what's up for you? Just more, yeah. more yeah. staying in. How about you, Mike, up there in Canada? Going to go kiss a moose? <laughs> I always stay busy. I got lots of good stuff going on. Uh, had a great Valentine's Day last night, both with my girl and then just up with other stuff going on. Talking to some folks who uh, worked on the Late Show and, and and negotiating on some Letterman memorabilia. Don't worry, Shecky, you're still my favorite. Um, <laughs> well, I have a new piece going up soon. What's that? Meryl, Meryl Marco is putting up a new sweatshirt in a day or two. All right. Well, at eBay. well you know. If, uh, if ever we want to do some private deals on that stuff, you let me know. But uh, no, I got a well, good I week. She, she emailed me to date it. And I said, late 80s. And I asked a friend of mine who would know better than me. And she goes, oh, that's one of the biggest pieces of crap we ever had. I threw mine away. <laughs> wow. And uh, Marjorie, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to work. Oh. In the other room. And then, and then we're, we're going to watch Gotham, right? Got a little more Gotham. And then put an agitator in the um, in <laughs> washing the washer dryer. dryer. Yeah, we finally got the screw removed. That only took four weeks. <laughs> and 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 Mandy, of course, we asked her, "What? What? You you're not up for anything big this weekend, are you?" No, not really. Uh, Just the usual. Uh, it's like, say old. And I have well, to I have to go teach a fitness it, class tonight. Is this get together. Ooh. This get together every week is the most exciting thing any of us are doing in our lives. I agree. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You got hey, it. Good talking. Yeah. It, good and uh, good talking to our audience out there. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, bye bye. Goodbye. See you bye. later. Bye.